working on a boombox wiring diagram. Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, looking at the uh, boombox uh, volt or the uh, wiring diagram is what I've come up with here. And you can see the overall view of it right there. And we're going to zoom in a little bit and uh, see what uh, is what. So uh, I think uh, let's uh, let's start over here at the uh, decoder. And I think what you can see there is the uh, power comes in on this side here. You got the plus and the minus, and that commons with uh, the rest of the modules as far as this uh, module here and the module here. And it will it will also common with the uh, Boss CE102 over here on the other side. And uh, that's uh, it's just you know that's the 12 amp or 12 amp. 12 volt 3 amp uh, service that I'm going to be using for this. Um, now the other thing on the Bluetooth is the uh, input or actually output of this. The inputs on this side here. I think this is going to connect to a couple of RCA jacks on the back eventually when I get this done. And if if uh, he wants to hook up a, a CD player or anything you know else that he wanted to you know hook up, he could hook it up that way and just play it through the uh, boom box that way. So uh, The other uh, thing here, like I say, is the output. And the output of the uh, MP3 Bluetooth decoder goes to both of these amp modules. Uh, you can see the right and left inputs there and, and down the, down the uh, if I look down here, same thing down here. You got the left and right inputs down here for the uh, little PAM 8403 amp. And that will power the tweeters. And then we'll just go ahead and while we're down here, look at that. The output of the uh, uh, amplifier goes to these wires here, which make their way over here to the tweeters, left and right tweeters. And that's the wiring diagram for that. And like I said, that's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you know, it's just a three watt amplifier, but that should be plenty for those tweeters. I, I don't think we'll need more than that. Now I did make a change here for the uh, uh, regular, the main audio uh, source of this. Uh, instead of using that little 15 watt per channel, I'm using this 50 watt per channel. Now, uh, Bob was so kind to point <laughs> point out to me that uh, without uh, higher voltage input, this is, doesn't put out 50 watts per channel, which I, I understand that. But, you know, uh, there was a note with this particular module that uh, if you used a 4 ohm load, speakers in other words, uh, not to exceed uh, 14 volts. And so that's what we're going with. Now, it will be more powerful than the 15 watt for sure. So I think it should come out. Now, the 15 watt wasn't bad. If you turned it up all the way, it was pretty decent. But uh, obviously you don't want to, you know, crank all your, your thing off, up all the way and it's going to make the uh, boom box or the... Uh, subwoofer too too loud then so this is going to be a better situation I do believe and this is the way I'm going to wire it up and like I said I have my inputs over here left and right and these are our speaker outputs and our, our voltage input right here so these are the right speakers on this side and they go down to the mid bass drivers that I've got outlined here and uh, left and right and those are wired up there. They're they're common with the uh, outputs or the inputs for the Boss CE 102, uh, as you can see. Now this is a high level input for this uh, device here, and it's made to do that. It'll go high or low, but you can't use both. That's the only only caveat there. So basically, uh, you hook this up to the high level input, and uh, I think there's a switch that's the uh, bandpass filter. Uh, to low or high, so uh, and then there's a min max uh, settings here for you know how much actual amplification you want, things like that. So, and if we look at the other side of it, the other end of it, I should say, that's the power input comes in the other end, and the speaker output goes on the other end. And this will go to the uh, dual voice coil 8 inch subwoofer, and that's what these are for. That will plug into there. 
and so there we have left and right and uh, one speaker so that's kind of neat I like that that's gonna work really good so the only other thing I have here on this is the uh, input jack and like I said this will be a standard uh, uh, input jack that uh, is used throughout the just about industry now uh, and uh, like I said I'll also also be able to use power this from a car eventually is what I want to do uh, I'll, make, I'll give him a, a cable that will basically have two little uh, clips on it, uh, like battery clips, that you can hook it up to a battery if you wanted to and run it off of that. So it, it doesn't have to run off electric, you know, you can do it that way. So I think that'd be kind of neat. So that's uh, pretty much it, the whole thing there. Uh, like I said, you can see the whole diagram there. Uh, it just, uh, I don't know, it. it <clears throat> It uh, should work out rather well, I hope, and uh, that's my plan for it. Now, my biggest problem right now is finding something to put this in temporarily so that I can wire this all up and see what it sounds like. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I want to do that, uh, you know, put it, I don't want to just have wires like I did last time strung all over the place. I, I want to put it in an enclosure of some kind and uh, have it uh, basically the only thing wires come out of is the wires for the speakers so uh, we'll have to hook those up obviously but the other thing can the other little box or whatever I put this in can just sit on top of the uh, boom box for now and we can hear how it sounds and and play with it a little bit so that's my idea for that so uh, that's about it all the update we have today I didn't I didn't work on anything else but this in fact, this is my second time drawing this. The first time I drawed it, it, it was way too big, and I didn't like it at all. So I uh, came up with this, and I think this is a much better diagram. At least it will help me uh, wire it, because, you know, you have to kind of look at things as you do them. Now, a lot of these little connectors that you use the, to plug these in to, together are marked uh, red and black, and, you know, you know what they are. So, but, uh, like I said... Uh, it's nice to always have this to, to fall back on if you need it. So, anywho, that's uh, pretty much going to do this. You guys uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm, uh, I'm going to take it easy. I haven't got much planned for today. I may try to find a, a box to put this in and go from there. But uh, other than that, I don't think I'm going to do much. So, like I said, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.